Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. So as you can probably tell from the title, this video is going to be quite different from all the other videos I film. I'm going to be talking about some of my childhood games and I'm going to... I'm not just going to talk about it, I'm going to show you all of my childhood games that I have collected throughout the years since I was in school. I don't even remember when I really started collecting these because I used to game since I was like since I just remember my life I don't know how to explain but I was always playing on MS-DOS on Windows the Windows DOS it was called MS-DOS right so I used to play a lot and I used to play this game called Dave. I used to always call it Dave, which was kind of funny, but it was D-A-V-E Dave. And then I used to also play Prince of Persia and Super Mario and all of these games. But they were digital copies and then I started collecting physical copies, so I have quite a few games to show you. Also, um, if you're new to my channel, hello, um, I am Nia, actually short for Neha, and I love to talk about nerdy things, so that's the reason I made this channel, and if you love um, nerdy things, you can subscribe and um, just tune in to nerdy goodness. That was so cringy, but um, let's get into the video. I'm going to be showing you all of the um, games one by one and I do also have some albums of CDs because I did not have the cover so I'll also go through them and one thing I do want to say is that I don't know if all of these games will work now on my computer just because we're now using Windows what Windows are we using right now I I kind of don't remember because I I haven't updated my Windows since ages now let me just check um Okay, I actually went and checked on my computer and I'm using Windows 10 right now and I have been playing these since Windows MS-DOS and Windows 98 so I am not very sure if these games, like all of them work which is really sad but I still wanted to show them to you because I love them so much and I just have so many memories with them so let's just go through them really quick. Um, very first I actually have this strange... Um, home PC guide which I got because I wanted to learn more about Word, Excel, PowerPoint and all of that. Um, so I got this when I was in school. I don't even remember from where but yeah, <laughs> that was kind of funny. Um, then strangely I have this game called Sim Coaster um, as you can see here. And this, strangely, I've not even opened the plastic packaging uh, because I was so into this other, like, park game that my mom got me that I never really got around playing this, but I got this because it was so similar to the park game. And I just don't know why I never opened it, honestly. But this, again, works on Windows 95, 98, or me, so very old. Um, the game that my mom got me actually is right here, which I loved playing so so much. It is Marine Park Empire. So this game is about creating and managing your own marine park and it's about uh, placing benches and all these different animals and having visitors and just managing the entire park system. I loved it so so much. I used to play this a lot and I actually had gone out with my mom and I had seen this and she bought it for me which was really really sweet. I was I don't even remember I think I was like in fourth standard fifth standard don't remember but I was very young and loved it so much. So the next game CD I have is this adventure game pack which my dad actually got me he had gone out somewhere i don't remember where he went but he bought me this from there and it had six games that were really really cool like they were platform adventure games um so there was this heroes of hellas then 
Globy, Mysteries of Horus, Roots of Fantasy, Treasure Hunter 2, and Anarchy. I really love Treasure Hunter 2 though, which was with this white little panda, and I used to love playing that. It was like a platformer where you could like, you find treasure and then you dig up holes to trap your enemies. It was just fun, and yeah, I love that one a lot. I also have so many Barbie games, I feel like I will show them to you in a single line. So, okay, this one is Cartoon Mania. Now, this had a lot of different cartoon games, but I don't exactly remember um, if they worked properly because the packaging looks so cool, if you can see. There's Bob the Builder, Make Way for Naughty, Powerpuff Girls, Tweety, the Tarzan, Scooby-Doo. I remember when I tried to play it, it, they weren't really playing very well, and I can't remember. I I feel like the CD just didn't work well for me. Either that or the games were really bad. I just don't know, but yeah, the packaging is really cute. And the CD too, if you can see. Okay, the next game... Oh, this is Thrill Will Off The Rails. Now this is where we are, this character, in an entire park called Thrill Will and you can go around and explore and ride different, I think like, roller coasters and stuff and it's just really cool and you can go around and socialize, participate in mini games and I really did enjoy this a lot. I feel like I enjoyed Marine Park Empire just a little more because I could actually manage the park but this was really fun if I wanted to go around and just explore the park. The next game is Clue Finders 6th Grade Adventures. Now, funnily enough, I think I had this when I was in either 5th or 6th grade. And um, this is... I don't even, like, remember it exactly, but we are just supposed to uncover clues and search in this empire and stuff and find, like, solve different mysteries. And honestly, I feel like this was just too easy and it was, like, mini games and stuff. So it wasn't, like, anything... It, exciting like scooby-doo i i love scooby-doo games a lot but this was not as fun as scooby-doo but it was still fun i feel then i have this other card in collection which is like it has spider-man and mario and all of this but i think again these games that they had they only were like trial games i think they only allowed for like 30 minutes or something and even though there are so many games here i remember not like finding as many games inside but they were all right again i don't know if these will work now so yeah but it was just i think it like it's a cute cover and me being really young i just was really excited to find cartoon characters all over um this oh my god this is my absolutely favorite game that like i think set me into the world of mystery games and like point and click adventure games so that's what this game is it's journey to the center of the earth it's based on the movie i think but it's definitely way way different than the movie because i have watched the movie as well but this game it's about us like we are in this helicopter and our helicopter crashes onto the top of this icy mountain cliff and then we fall into the hole like into a hole and find ourselves in this world where it's all like beautiful and all but actually we're at the center of the earth but there's a sky and there's an entire world there which is really really strange and we try and uncover everything what's going on and it's just so cool i love this game so much i played all of it and like i remember i first tried to play it and it was difficult but then i tried again and i just got hooked i like spent an entire holiday like time i think like a summer vacation or something playing this game and it was just amazing and i used to always also when i was like i think like i was also playing this when i was going to school and i used to always think about just getting back and continuing playing this until like it was the holiday season and i could play it all the time but loved it so much and it's to this day one of my favorite games and i again don't know if this will work anymore so i'm gonna have to try it out if you know how to play old windows games on a new windows please do let me know i do have to go and research if i could do that but yeah 
oh my gosh now i have two of my really really favorite games as well so this is Scooby-Doo and the Glowing Bug Man. It's a Scooby-Doo game and we just have to solve this mystery and play like mini games and stuff and just solve mysteries. It's kind of like a point and click you could say. And then there's the second one, Scooby-Doo and the Scary Stone Dragon. I love these games so much and I honestly got these because I had an old CD which was a Scooby-Doo game and I remember I was going crazy trying to solve that mystery and one day it just clicked and I solved it entirely and I was so so happy about it that when I saw these in the CD store from where I bought my games I just I was so happy and yeah I love them so much but yep again love these a lot um, my next two games actually are digital games that I downloaded and I um, kind of saved them in these CDs. So it's The Longest Journey and Dreamfall The Longest Journey. So this is part two of the game. And again, it's kind of a point and click adventure game. So I have already finished the entire Longest Journey. And again, I remember I spent an entire summer vacation playing this game and it was so, so long and I used to stay all day on the computer playing it and solving the whole mystery. It was about two worlds, so one was like a logical world and one was a magical world. And it was kind of like a fantasy storyline. It was just so much fun. Now, the only thing is this game, it was a game where you could not die, but in Dreamfall The Longest Journey, it was even more scary and we had to fight monsters and everything and we could die so i reached this point where i was in this big cave and there were monsters around and i was trying to hide and go from there but i got lost and i was really really scared because i didn't want to fight these monsters because honestly even if i tried to fight i couldn't win so um i got stuck in the game and then i had to change my computer and i lost the save game so uh I had to restart it but I'm just so so scared to play it I still have it on my computer but I like I have been playing it but I keep getting stuck at some points and just get super scared and the I feel like the controls for the game are a little confusing which is why I can't really fight properly that's another issue but I love them so much nonetheless and I also whoa I also found out that there's a third game now in this um, series and I really want to play that but I first need to finish Dreamfall and also another thing I forgot to tell is in Dreamfall we are actually like at the very beginning of the game we're in a coma and then we start playing the game only to find out how we went into coma which is kind of really really scary again it's a scary game, I feel. <laughs> um, let's go to some of my Barbie games now. Um, so, very first we have Barbie as Rapunzel. I was a Barbie fanatic when I was small and I loved Barbie as Rapunzel. And in this game, we actually paint and decorate the entire castle that Rapunzel is living in because if you must have seen the movie, Rapunzel loves to paint and she gets a magical paintbrush that helps her transport into different um, worlds, like she can basically paint different landscapes and then go into the painting. So yeah, um, in this game we actually paint and everything in order to break a curse or something like that, but yeah love this so much i've played this multiple times and it's just wonderful i mean i was really young when i played it i don't know if i'll enjoy it now but then this is barbie as island princess again in this game i don't exactly remember what all we have but it's like an adventure game with mini games on it um it's kind of based on the movie if you've seen this movie again it's a really good movie i mean if you like barbie <laughs> Um, then I some of the games I actually don't have the cover so I just have the little pamphlet like artwork that came with it and that is Barbie as the and the magic of Pegasus now this was another absolutely wonderful movie I loved it so much and in this game we just like it's kind of similar to the movie where we're going through things and it's like an adventure game with mini games and stuff like that. Again, a really good children's game, but I don't know if I'll enjoy it now, but still really, really good. Um, then there's Barbie 
as The Princess and the Pauper, another one of my absolutely favorite Barbie movies and I really enjoyed this game as well because we were in this village and we had to do these mini things and meet different people, talk to them, socialize and carry out their different tasks, I remember. And I used to play this multiple times as well. Really, really fun and I enjoy this so much. Hmm. Then I have in this, I don't have the cover for this, but this is Barbie and the Two Old Dancing Princesses. I love this movie as well so much. And this is another adventure game. Um, and it was just like we have to go places and yeah, just an adventure game. I don't remember a lot about this game because it was one of the last Barbie games I got and I wasn't as obsessed with this as the previous other games that I've played, but I love the movie a lot. Especially that music at the beginning of the movie and then when they dance, it's just so so good. I love that tune. Anyway, I'm gonna stop um, obsessing over them. Now, this is actually like a pirated thing, I think, which I don't buy these anymore and definitely they don't even sell these anymore. But back then, I didn't really understand, so I had bought this with like these random games and honestly. This didn't even work all that well, it just had some different, like, I remember playing Brother Bear, that was really fun, but I guess it, like, never worked later on. I did even, like, Lion King, but Lion King I've actually played on, like, this TV video game system and not on this. I think I also had it on the computer, but this CD never worked. I had it as a digital copy, as far as I remember. But yeah, from this, only Brother Bear actually worked, um as far as I remember. And Brother Bear was really, really fun to play. It was kind of similar to a Shrek game I had, which was again a digital copy, loved it. Um, this is Grand Theft Auto, but again, this copy never really worked. I did have a digital copy of Grand Theft Auto 3 and also Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and I used to love playing that, but I was always scared to carry out missions, so I used to um, make my cousins help me. So one of us used to drive, one of us used to you know, use the weapons and one of used to one of us used to like type cheat codes. It was just so much fun. I loved that. Um yeah, it's been a while a really like it's been what, fifteen years since we did that? Twenty years? <sighs> it was crazy though. Um the next game I actually have is all in the CD, so I feel like this is gonna be really long if I start going through them. Um, but I will just quickly go through it. So this is, I think, another copy of Barbie as the Island Princess game, which I kind of wrote onto the CD. Then um, there's Barbie Riding Club, again, one of my absolutely favorite Barbie games. This is my very first Barbie game, and it's about us having a horse and we ride around in complete different missions. It was just a cute game, but sadly, this was not working when I was trying to put it onto my PC because it's from like Emma's DOS times. Then there's this game called Sing Along with Arthi. I used to love playing this. It was again like different songs that we used to play. There were coloring mini games and just really really fun. Um, I don't know what this is. These games I've never really played properly. I don't even know if they work but there's Shadow Warrior. Um, Best of Scooby-Doo games and activity pack. Well, this Wonders of India is actually an educational CD. Then there's Downtown Run, Airborne Troops, Knight Rider. Oh, I loved Knight Rider. This was a car game, so we have this black car called the Knight Rider, and we have to carry out missions. So we cannot leave the car. We are the car, and we carry out missions. It's really fun. Um, Tom Cornell, I never played it. Crime Scene Manhattan, I don't remember. Breakneck, I feel like these games never really worked properly. I don't know what it was. Then there's Motor, Harley Davidson Cycles, Delta Force. I did play Delta Force. Railroad Simulator, again, this was, I don't really remember if this worked. 100 Fun Activities, I don't know what that is. Um, what? what? <laughs> there's some weird um, games, I don't even remember these. You can fly with Tinkerbell. I feel like some of the games I actually had copied from my friend's games. Barnyard. I loved Barnyard. I had taken this from my friend and it was so good. I still have it on my computer. It's a really fun game. I love it. 
and gladly it still works um, but we if you watch Barnyard the movie it's similar to that we have to carry admissions and it's just a wonderful world I feel and I love the music in it and everything it's just so um, for me if you know what I mean um, I just don't think I remember anything else very well I have a copy of Journey to the Center of the Earth here just because I was worried I will like harm my CD so I made a copy for myself. There's Trilleville again. Yeah, that's that. And I'll just go to the next album now. So, okay, this is Shrek 2. Again, it is similar to Brother Bear game. It was an adventure game. I loved it a lot. There's Mike's Monstrous Adventure game, which it was, I don't again remember that game very well. I don't think I played it all that much. There's 360 beach bodyboarding. I took it from my friend, didn't play it all that much. Cars, I again don't remember playing it a lot, but I had taken it from my friend. Best of Mario and Pac-Man. I think these are all from my friend. So there's Barnyard. And then this is Spider-Man. Now this, I had bought it, but I don't know why I have a copy here. I think I like copied it and I don't have the original CD anymore. But Spider-Man was really, really fun. I don't know if this will work anymore, but um, so it was Spider-Man 2 and we have to like beat monsters and stuff and I did play it a bit, but I think I got stuck at a really big monster. <laughs> that used to always happen because I, I was a scaredy cat. Then we have Scooby-Doo and the Phantom of the Night. This is my very first Scooby-Doo game. And again, I had an original copy, but I lost it and I have the copy because I feel like the first copy it kind of got damaged because of scratches on the back then there's oh this is one of my favorite games it's Chocolate Construction 2 it's about building houses I used to spend so long playing this game and build so many different houses so you have to construct different houses give them different walls and everything and then once they're done all the town people come and celebrate and it's opening it's just a fun cozy game I loved it so much I don't know if it'll work anymore but like I honestly am so scared to try and make them work and then find out they won't work so these are all the same Scooby-Doo games I had and I copied so many of them because I didn't want to like Ruin them, there's Barbie Riding Club, the original CD. Okay, my camera shut off on its own, I don't know why, but yeah, I was showing you the Barbie Riding Club, the original CD, because I made a copy just because I was worried this will stop working if it like got damaged, which I feel like it kind of did, but yeah, my very first Barbie game, love it. This is the Sing Along with Artie, the original CD. This is Finding Nemo. I took it from a friend. Love it so, so, so much. And yeah, um, back then I feel like I used to take a lot of games from friends just because I was like crazy about games. But I know like it's, you should buy your own copies, honestly. But honestly, back then we didn't have Amazon or anything. And finding a game in the local store was very, very difficult because it always depended on what stock they had. So that's the reason why I copied some of the games from them. There is the longest journey copy here. It's the same game I have. Finding Nemo was really fun too. It was kind of an adventure of based on the movie. And yeah, that's the entire album too. I have another album as well which is album three now honestly i won't like go through them a lot because they're all the same cds but these are based on this small book we got called champak it was a storybook and every weekend they used to i don't remember if it was every weekend or if it was every month but they had a cd free with their book all the time with many games in it and i was crazy about them so my mom used to always get me the books and i collected so many cds from them and i used to play all these mini games it was absolutely amazing i can't believe they gave these cds free honestly but just look at how many cds i've collected it's crazy i honestly don't even know if these will work anymore but Yup. Ah, so that is the end of all my PC game CD collection DVD slash CD collection and I honestly have so many digital games as well but I was a crazy game nerd 
and I loved gaming. It's only recently that I have actually got a gaming console, but before that I just used to love gaming on my computer, but recently I feel like the computer I have now doesn't really work very well for gaming as much as the um, old computer that I had with like the big CPU. That was just amazing. Um, yeah, but I just was a nerd <laughs> when it came to it and um yeah i'm really happy now that i have a nintendo switch on which i can play games as well and hopefully i'll grow a collection soon and show you that as well um also one other game i really want to mention is the sims 3 i have the digital copy for it but it is one of my absolutely like favorite games because i have spent years playing even that game i think i played that when i was like in 9th 10th standard so much older than all of these games but i loved it so 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 much as well and the sims 4 also i have played a bit but the sims 3 was my favorite um yeah but that's it i'm getting leg cramps sitting here and it's sunday so i'm gonna go and have some lunch because i just want to chill and relax before starting the weekend but i really hope you enjoyed this crazy mess of a video and i'll see you soon with a new video hopefully with something fun and exciting um bye take care and have a wonderful week ahead i'll see you later